Um, hey guys, so this isn't a very nice video, it's something I felt I should make since I know a lot of people use me for siege news and siege information and a lot of people who actually watch my videos don't really keep up with news on Twitter and Instagram for example and I'm honestly when it comes to siege in the community their main source of news and information. Um, regardless if that news is, you know, good or in this case, sadly, not not very good news, sadly. Um, I'd like to say as well, I'd like to monetize this video and find a way to, you know, get the funds that it makes to his family or if anyone, you know, knows him or, you know, knows how I can, you know, reach out to someone who knows him and, you know, help out that way. I know money isn't anything in when it comes to stuff like this and it's it isn't it doesn't change anything but we managed to raise a lot back when uh sadly icy cat passed away so i feel like at least what i can do with these videos i i'd like to help in the little ways i can granted it's not the biggest ways but if i can do that i'd like to help so yeah um the news is that kickstar or michael stockley which is his full real name, has sadly passed away on the 11th of October, which was two days ago. Now, Michael, or Kickstar, was one of the biggest, you know, icons in the Siege community. He, you know, has been since the game, since it came out. He was a pro player for the first three seasons, then moving over into a caster, and he has been the most iconic and probably the most fan favourite caster in Siege. Then that isn't a diss to any of the other casters. All the casters in Siege are great. We've got such a, you know, very talented group of casters in this game. But Kickstar and his partner in Tarot were both two that stood out. Uh, they just had such a great relationship and everyone always loved them when they were on screen. I'm sure as well, many of you guys used to watch uh, his streams all the time as well. He had a charming game. Uh, it, was, it was really hard not to like Kickstar. He was what you'd kind of think of when you think of a core Siege player who's been there from the start, who was great at the game, made enjoyable videos, and is just one of the, you know, a nice person to have in the community. Um, there was a statement released by his mother and stepfather, and it read, For the past 20 months, we were fortunate to have Michael back home living for us during lockdown, casting and streaming from his bedroom, sharing meals with us, spending time with extended family this summer, and letting us all get to know him better. He'd been gone for so long, travelling the world and meeting so many of you in the R6 Siege community, he came home happier and stronger, and for that, we are grateful. When he was struggling as a new caster in Poland, on his own for the first time, some of you banded together to chip in enough money to buy a plane ticket for me, his mum, to come see him. The show of support was so overwhelming for him that he cut his stream short and cried. To all of you who lent a hand to a young man in need, we are grateful. There were many times when he invited me to sit and chat with him on his streams. Good conversations were had and we enjoyed it. As an audience, many of you let me know I was welcome there and I am grateful. As tournaments and events, we could see how he was respected for his talent and dedication. As parents, we were so proud of his hard work and determination to bring his best to all of you. On Monday, October 11th, Michael Kickstar Stockley passed away unexpectedly. He had so much planned for the future, and he was looking forward to working with so many of you. Michael worked hard to lift up the R6 Siege community, and in turn, so many of you lifted him up as well. We are grateful for the love and support that we have experienced from so many of you. Keep it going, pay it forward, and keep lifting each other up. Uh, so yeah guys, that was the statement put out by his mother. As you can see, I was actually kind of tearing up reading that. That was, um, it was it was really something quite nice and um that was quite sad to read sorry about that um i used to i remember i joined the game back in blood orchid and he was one of the people i actually used to watch a lot um my friend recommended me to him i used to play black ops um black ops 3 a lot and i never was really into siege and um, my friend was playing siege a lot and I was like, should I get it? Should I get it? And Kickstar was one of the people, you know, you know, he recommended. And I used to watch him a lot and everything. Watch some of content. Watch some of old clips as well. And, you know, he was just one of those people which you wanted in, wanted in any gaming community. And 
I don't know. It's just I didn't even know him personally, but I just it's we it feels like we've lost something as a community, and I feel like um I feel like the message from his mother and her, his stepfather, um you know is should be you know taken seriously. Um, I think it shows how as a community um, you can you know bring people together you can change lives and especially with a community even as you know sometimes joked about as toxic as sieges it does have its nice parts you know the R6 community is at the end of the day really nice and you know you can you can have people like this which um are just can bring happiness to so many people but i think we can all take something from that message about how we live every day and yeah i know so many people are probably going to be like it's just a game and it's just a community you don't know any other people really and that's true but you know i think this shows that you've only got one life if you do something that you love and you're passionate about it there will be people there to support you and who share in that enjoyment and it is possible and I think Kickstarter showed that and inspired a lot of people whether they uh, play the game still or not and it's just something that shouldn't be taken for granted um, so yeah uh, my thoughts are with his family his friends everyone who he you know everyone who loved him everyone who knew him it's a really sad thing to see. He was extremely young. He was only 24, so just five years older than me. Yeah. Um, he, he clearly lived doing what he loved. And I think we can all take something from that. And aspire to live like that. And really enjoy the things, you know. So, uh, yeah. My thoughts are with everyone. My thoughts are with his family. Um, I hope, you know we can bring some happiness i know this wasn't the nicest video um for you guys to get in your inbox but i feel like it should have been posted and talked about considering that i know a lot of you people who watch this would have watched him and they would have liked to known um about this information so yeah look after each other just enjoy life and you know do what you live and do what you enjoy you know that's just that's how it should be so yeah um thank you kickstar for you know inspiring me to play this game which i love which i still love years after joining it thank you for everything thank you thank you very much